Hey, Jeremy here. I'm going to cool tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to desaturate your images and add a bit of green, especially when you're working on client projects or even in the stylescape. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop. So I've been doing a stylescape for a client recently and I created this image, nice mock-up to add onto the stylescape. But I had a palm tree image in the back, but it didn't originally look like this. So I'm going to double click on my smart object file and it will open up the other tab. And you can see if I turn off the hue saturation layer and also the grain, as you can see, there's a bit of grain. I can turn that off. This was the original image by itself and just ignore the color background. There's just a white background there. This was the original image there. So what you can do to desaturate it is, is you want to add a hue and saturation layer. So let's just drag these other layers over here. And what I'm going to do is go to the bottom right, click on the effects drop down menu. It's the little circle with a um, half ellipse in there. And I want to click it and go down to hue and saturation. You'll see you get this box pop up. So the properties window. So what I want to do now is desaturate it. So you can see the saturation menu. All I have to do is drag the slider to the left. If you go all the way, it will go black and white. And we don't want that. We want just to make it subtle. So instead of going the opposite, which makes it like heaps messed up and colorful, we don't want that. We want to make it go down to about like minus 50 or you know, maybe minus 30, something like that. So I want to drag it, desaturate it. I kind of like, yeah, minus 50 looks kind of nice. I can drop down the lightness a little bit. We don't want to make it too bright. So we drop down the, the lightness a bit, maybe minus eight. And then what I want to do is I can keep the property panel here. What I can actually do is I can desaturate certain elements as well. So I'm going to click this drop down menu. So we desaturated the overall image, but I want to get rid of these yellows that I have in this palm tree here. So I'm going to click yellow and you can see, just pay attention to this section here. As I desaturate it, it should get rid of those yellows. And you can see that. So it goes a bit more gray. So if I zoom in here, you can see before it was heaps yellow, like it was up here, but now I got rid of it, desaturated it. It makes it a lot better. And it's going to be a good subtle image for a web design or a website or like a background image for text to be overlaid. I'm going to drop these properties here. And then what I'm going to do is add a bit of a grain to make it a bit of a more, you know, grungy hipster feel, a bit more organic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click. Sorry, I'm going to click on my image. I'll just get rid of. And then what I want to do is go to filter. Go to noise and click add noise. So now you can see if I zoom in, this is what the image will look like with this noise here. I want to play around with it though. I don't want to just leave it, right? So if you go heaps, it's going to go heaps grainy and look like an old school TV. And we don't want that, right? So we only want to add a little bit. So I'll probably add maybe you know, like 2 to 3%. I'll put it on 2%, which looks good. You can always add it like a Gaussian or make it uniform. It depends. I like kind of like both. So I'll leave it on Gaussian for now. And I can click off the preview, but that's fine and press OK. And because I already added a, a noise before it added, it doubled on each other. So you can see the layers panel. I've got two there, but let's just see with the one noise. So you can see with the bit of noise, it adds a bit of grain effect. If I turn it off, you can see it goes back to normal. So I can turn it back on. As you can see, it's a smart filter on the right side. And then if I add on that extra bit, you can see it makes it even more nicer. So you can redo the smart filter on top of each other. So if I can go again, add noise, and it will just add it on top of it as well. So originally we just had this, and now by adding desaturation and a bit of grain, we get this cool image, and then I can save that image, and I go back to the mock-up, and then it should automatically save. And you can see we've got this nice palm tree effect, which looks really cool. And then there's even a shadow as well, so I can turn that on, and we have this nice, vibe to it so thanks so much for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments if you want to see more tutorials like this smash that like button and remember to subscribe for more design content every week hope you have a great day see you later